Hey, hey, happy Friday. Happy Friday, ladies. Hi, how are you? So I am just gonna come in here, just give you a couple minutes. So um, I am calling this tough love. Yep, tough love. So, so yeah, it's also Feminine Friday, right? So every Friday, I always recommend to get all into your feminine, take care of yourself, give yourself some love, some self-care, drop down into your body, get out of your head, relax, enjoy yourself, stretch your body, move your body, go dancing, do a little belly dancing, connect to your feminine energy, drop your energy down into your room space, tap into your intuition, yes, Feminine energy, feminine Friday. However, right now, I'm just um, been over here talking to myself, working on some things, and kind of kicking myself in the booty here a little bit, and um, <laughs> motivating myself, and I thought, well, I need to share just a moment, share some tough love, share with you too. So when I say, and I'm, I'm tagging some of our girlfriends here in the group, it's, it's a little, helped a little bit I think to share the video because you know how what I told you yesterday on that video you may or may not have seen and you should go watch it because I gave you some great um, tips of what would I say oh seven ingredients the recipe for attracting your soulmate and what that looks like so some things that we talked about before but I put it like in a little ingredient list for you and I had to do it a couple times because it wasn't Oh, I messed up, whatever, long story. <laughs> so anyway, um, so like I said before, I don't really, um, I don't really plan these ahead of time. I just jump on in here, hey girlfriend, and say hi and share a little bit. So this is what I wanted to share. I wanted to share a little tough love. So like I said, on Feminine Friday, it's about taking care of yourself. But the tough love part of that is, hi girlfriend, <laughs> is, um, you know, I don't mean, you know, when I say tough love, not to say anything negative to yourself, not to put yourself down, not to hurt yourself, not to talk in a way that you're not good enough, can't do something, can't have the love, can't have the man, can't have the relationship, can't have anything because something is wrong with you, the way you look, the way, the way how old you are, the, whatever. Not that kind of tough love, but the tough love that says, I am no longer going to tolerate talking to myself like that. I am no longer going to put myself down, think something is wrong with me, think I can't have what I truly, truly want, even though it hasn't worked out for me so far. Even though I loved and lost, even though he cheated on me, even though he left me, even though I just never found, met that, perfect love yet because here's the deal that tough love that you're not going to tolerate that is going to position you to have that which what you're perhaps saying or believing or feeling that you can't have yep it's been a long journey for me to get to that place so you know we all have a story right I had so yeah I have a story I had a story I let my story go I stopped tolerating the story that you know, when my second husband said, you have to pick between me and your daughter. Oh my God, I feel like we were still on my honeymoon and he said that to me. Wouldn't you just ask me to cut my arm off? When my first husband, oh, you know, he was so much older than me and not till I knew later that I was probably marrying a father figure, but when he wouldn't take care of us, he was a brilliant, educated man, but he wouldn't work, he wouldn't take care of us. I had to steal $5 one time to buy my daughter food. So when you have those kind of experiences, yeah, you think like men suck, they don't take care of you, they don't honor you, they hurt you, but it's not really true. You know where those stories came from? Where the, well, those stories were true, but do you know where those experiences came from? It came from experiences that I wasn't good enough I couldn't have true love. Men didn't really take care of women because that is the story that my mother lived. My mother lived with not feeling good about herself, having very low self-esteem, attracting the wrong men, abusive men, and never, ever, ever finding her way out of that until she was on her fourth marriage. I don't know, like in her 50s or something. So 
you know, when you have six children and you live a very abusive life with men that leave you, the men that cheat on you, men that are married to other women at the same time that they're married to you. Yeah, those that's all my story of my history. We all have a story, you have a story too, and that's what's playing in your head. And perhaps forbidding you from having the love that you want. But the love that you want starts with the love that you give yourself. Yeah, I know, we all hear like self-love, self-love. Don't wanna hear that, right? Wanna hear like, where's my man, where's my man love? But the man won't come until we give the self-love. So, <laughs> so the tough love that I'm giving you today is to stop tolerating not having the love that you want and give it to yourself first. Don't tolerate those voices in your head that say you can't have something that you're good enough, that men suck, men don't treat you right, because you just will attract those men because there's those kind of men out there, but they don't have to be in your life because you're not tolerating that with for yourself in your own words to your own heart and you will never tolerate it for another but it all starts with you so the feminine friday message for you is to love yourself more by giving yourself tough love and not tolerate anything less than what you absolutely deserve so hello <laughs> Teresa here again your host here and in the um i am she power she group if you come in here this is just a short message today just hit, you know, replay, watch it, and give yourself some tough love. Take care of yourself, and you will know how to take that to the next level and to really create the love that you deserve, that you that you can have, and get clear on what that looks like for you. Then message me, and I am definitely going to help you. Okay, my darling, here's to more love for you, tough love. Take care of yourself, and I will talk to you again real soon. Bye for now.